We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Free screen should sound the alarm against those who would destroy freedom. For in its power to deceive and inflame, or enlighten and inspire, the motion picture has no equal. Alex Jones here back live. It is the globalists that have seized control for decades. Mainstream television, print media, and Hollywood. We, the people, are seizing control back. We're just producing our own media with our own perspective with serious bias towards truth and liberty. And we have built it. They have come. And I would suggest to all of you out there, don't think you're going to be perfect out of the gates. I certainly am still not. Far from it. But start your own YouTube channel. Start your own access show. Start your own local radio show. Start your own web blog. Go to city council, pick an issue, speak about it, get involved, get in the process. Together we will defeat the tyranny. Thomas Jefferson said that all that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. Well, let's stop doing nothing. Let's take action. I want to go to your phone calls now ahead of some other important audio clips and video clips and news I want to break down uh, here today. Um... We're going to get into some very important information on the economic front, also with what's happening uh, in the Middle East, as well as Ukraine. 
and some new information on good old Al Sharpton. The smoking gun is saying uh, that he was really a informant against the mafia and against other groups for the FBI. I mean, Al Sharpton has always been a bloated, disgusting, pig-like, uh, just wannabe tough guy, thug. I mean, the guy is a complete joke. He is a race pimp and just a complete fraud. And uh, again, I'm not demonizing somebody for being an informant against the mob. It's just so perfect uh, that they're reporting this about him because I'll guarantee you he was reporting on black people. I will guarantee you he wasn't allowed to pull the shenanigans he pulled and create the political diversions where he was acting like he was fighting the political establishment in New York without some serious backing. Because if I said the kind of things he said, I'd be in jail. I learned this a long time ago when I said Hal Turner is an FBI informant. Bare minimum, came out in federal court, national security level clearance in an unnamed agency for the FBI. Did that stop them from putting him in jail for threatening federal judges and state judges? When they were ready to destroy him, they destroyed him. Because hackers got into his email and showed that he was an FBI informant trying to stir up riots in the country so they could demonize libertarians and people. Let me tell you something. If somebody attacks me every week on the radio and says I'm a Fed and says I need to be dealt with and stuff, and then also calls for violence against other people, you can guarantee they're a Fed, ladies and gentlemen. 100% Cass Sunstein style garbage. Mike in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex Jones, how are you? I'm all right, brother. How may I serve you? Well, I have a comment and I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, I guess the first comment, Obamacare. All the open lies. I mean, and this is for the people that are dumbed down, don't understand anything, don't want to take the time to look into anything. People are lied to openly. And they still, they still just don't think, well, wait, you know, maybe there's something more to this. I try to... Uh, talk to people, you know, to get them to look a little bit deeper, but nobody wants to take the time. And, and I got to be honest with you, these, these things that they're putting in our food and our water are working. And it, wow, you know, how do you, it, it's, it's very difficult to try to avoid these things nowadays, you know? Um, we, we try to do so much, but right? In reality, I think it's the smaller percentage in the world that's going to be the savior. Oh, I agree with you. And, and look, it's never been a majority that changes things for the side of good or evil. So we know that we've got to be a, a vocal, animated minority that leads the rest of the sheep out of bondage. That's what's going to have to happen. I mean, look at Al Sharpton. Report. Reverend was wired. Paid to snitch. Account of Sharpton's secret life is CI-17. Based on hundreds of pages of confidential FBI affidavits and documents. Of course, most of these black leaders, including Jesse Jackson, it came out, were federal informants. And of course, Jesse Jackson was there to lead Martin Luther King out on the balcony and then to put out the official story. I got a question for you, if I could. Go ahead. Uh, you plan on doing this calendar? Uh, I think it's a great idea. Oh, you'd like to see, you'd like to see uh, McAdoo in a bikini, huh? I'd like to see my wife in a bikini on the calendar. <laughs> well, listen, w w a lot of talk shows have put out calendars with women with guns, and I'm all for it. I'm not for putting one out with men on it. I'm just going to be honest. Well, again, I'm, I'm discriminating here. I'm being sarcastic. The point is, is that uh, it is a good idea. People have had the idea, but I'd like to do it with real women and then uh, really shake up the feminists. Maybe, maybe not have them in bikinis or something, but, but maybe dressed up in dresses, you know, in the kitchen with the cherry pattern on the wallpaper, but with maybe a little black Scotty dog, you know, looking up at them lovingly, you know, holding, say, bear at 50 cals. I think something tasteful within a little bit of Second Amendment lore and quotes about the Second Amendment on one side of it. How does that sound? Would everybody like to hang on that calendar up? Do it. Do it. Only if my face isn't on it. We can put my face on McAdoo's body. How does that sound? That's pretty nice. Yeah, you know <laughs> <A> mustache. <laughs> 
You don't need a bikini to make the women sexy with guns. That's for sure. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, you have a good day, sir. All right, all right. No, it, it's a great idea to promote the Second Amendment. I just, I got bigger fish to fry than chasing around, you know, the leads, putting the ads out, finding, the, you know, the, the women to do it. But, I mean, I've been to gun rallies and seen a lot of beautiful women, so I was dead serious the other day. They were having a Skype feed, and I said, those are some lovely ladies. That one right there could be in the calendar. You know, we have to actually get 12 women for this calendar. Uh, you know, and then I have to sit there and do the shoot, and mess with it, and, and, and it would raise some money for the operation and would help promote the, you know, the Second Amendment, so I don't know. we got to get cracking on it if we are, and I've got a film to finish that's behind. i got the TV system to launch. I, I don't know if we're going to have a calendar this year. You know, maybe, maybe next year. Patrick in Oregon. Patrick, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Oh, hey. Hey, uh, Alex, I just wanted to share my story real quick. Uh, I had a sports injury, and I was faced with the decision to either walk or have a surgery again. As it was off-season of my seasonal job, I uh, decided to go ahead with the surgery. I had saved up a bunch of money, so I paid for all my CAT scans, x-rays, doctor visits, and cash. And... Uh, and anyway, so the the day before the surgery, I go and I try to sign up. I, I, I don't actually try to sign up for Obamacare. They push it on me. And they're like, we'll pay for your surgery. We'll pay for your pre-existing everything that you paid for and everything in the, the future. And who yeah. was they? The hospital? The hospital that I went to. Yeah, yeah. So, so up until the day of my surgery, I had paid for everything in cash. I understand. So tell us what happened. So anyway, I go through with the surgery, and in order to, to, to get the benefits of Obamacare, I had to give them all of my personal information, my Social Security number. They wanted to know what job I was going to have, when I was going to start, how much money I made, how much money I had in the bank. I was it about was to like, say, because they do, they, they're going to come after your wages later, it's actually in the legislation they're going to claw the money back, just like in England. But now the government gets it instead of the corporations, and then they pass the money through to them. Uh, so I, I believe you were given a line of bull. Did you go to a city hospital? Um, I went to a private hospital. All right, so how did this end? So I went through with the surgery. That came out fine. Um, I'm going to be capable of walking, which is wonderful. But and you that think didn't really have any... That didn't anything to do with the Obamacare, though, because in order to get the benefits that I needed to have the surgery, the, the, the Obamacare was just like a layer. No, I get it. Now they make you go through the federal government to get the charity care that was already there. I appreciate your call. Yeah, that's a big facet of it. Folks, most hospitals, even if they're private or charities, they're tax exempt. And they're supposed to give about a third or half, depending on their charter, of their care for free. And then corporations donate money and things to pay for prosthesis or stuff like that. Then if you are sick, then you can go get charity care. Obamacare begins to phase that out. But that's after they bankrupt the health care system. Then people think who are poor, they're getting free health care because of Obamacare when they would have already gotten it. And then one characteristic of it is it begins to phase out the actual free care you would have gotten. No more knee surgery, just here's the cane. Adam in Iowa, you're on the air. Go ahead, Adam. Yes, sir. Can you hear me all right? Absolutely. All right. Uh, my wife currently got on the affordable care joke. Uh, it works. I can tell you that. They actually do pay for things. Uh, but it did raise her premium. It doubled it. But see, it you're paying for it. That's what I'm saying. All it does is send you to select inside corporations who then jack up the price. It's kicked 10 oh, yeah. million people off their health care. I mean, it's a total fraud. Yeah, they canceled their old plan and we had to get on a new one through her employment. And, and it's gone yeah. up. So, so would you have done this before if you had a choice? Hell no. So, but isn't it a great deal? I mean, Ellen DeGeneres says everyone, quote, loves it. It's a great success. We should all thank Obama. Would you like to thank Obama right now? No, thank you. <laughs> so where, uh, what are your other points on the subject? 
Well, it raises your premium. She's got a $2,500 deductible that has to be met before the insurance 